Much of the character of Arian La Waterways owes itself to smaller heritage features, little buildings at lock sides and former wharves, valve houses and old signs. They're a legacy of our rich industrial past. next walking along the canal it's worth stopping and having a look at some of these small buildings that sit next to lock flights and along sections of the canal. They're part of the cherished canal scene and they're really worthy of protection. Altogether they present a fascinating and varied collection of buildings and structures without which our waterways could not have functioned. Many of our small buildings on the canals had a range of uses. This one here, a barrel roofed building on the Audlam flight of the Shropshire Union Canal, housed not only a blacksmith, but also a carpenter and a stonemason. And together they all help to look after this stretch of the canal. Inside here you can still see the remains of the forge and you can see the racks where the blacksmith would have kept all his tools hanging up. Locks are often great places to see lock keepers' huts. They were the lock keeper's bolt hole. They were where he could keep his tools, where he could shelter from the weather, make a brew, keep warm during the winter time when he was having to work long hours manning the locks. This interesting structure is a stop plank shelter. It dates from the 1950s, this one, but you can see them all over the canal system, often next to bridges or at locks, and they help with the maintenance of the canals. And the stop planks that are contained within it provide a means of working on the canal in the dry. So the planks would be taken out when we need to carry out repairs, slotted into grooves at the side of a lock or next to the bridge, they form a dam, you then drain down the water and it means you can carry out routine repairs like lock gate replacements or repointing. They're features that are very easy to miss. You could easily walk past it and not really know what it was, but they are a key part of the functioning of the canal. Mileposts are easy features to spot on the canal. This one is made of cast iron, but depending on where you are in the country, they can vary. So others are made of stone, and even earlier ones are sometimes made of timber. They were put in by canal companies so that distances could be carefully measured and tonnages calculated on the canal. There's so much to see on our canals, alongside locks, bridges, aqueducts. Take time when you're next out on the canal, maybe at an open day or walking or cycling along, to stop and look at some of the smaller things that really set some of our canals apart from one another. They really are well worth protecting, so everyone can enjoy them now and well into the future. These small features are vulnerable and they need care and attention. If you're interested in helping us protect, particularly lock lobbies and hovels, and even find new uses for them with us, please do get in touch via our website.